No, we're not. We're, we're playing Dead Space. No. Yeah. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> Yo, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like anybody requested this game. They just wanted to play it, so. Yeah. So, like, I super said, let's play Dead Space. Fucking happening. <laughs> so. I was playing this, uh. I don't know if this is an intentional thing in the game, or if it was just my mouse drivers not working properly with this, but the aiming was incredibly hard to do. Is it like that on the controller? Hell no. No, okay, no. It's, 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 it's pretty standard, just over the shoulder, you know, left is move, and then, you know, you have right, it's aim. And also, okay. uh, yeah, it's, so I guess it just fucked up for me. <laughs> I guess I don't know, man. No, it's it's probably just that running the mouse with the software is this shitty. <laughs> probably yeah. just didn't jive well with something I had. Oh man, we forgot to put it on channel three. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anybody out there who remembers that crap? Can, <laughs> yeah. can you blow on the game for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back when like cart like video games had more snot than game in them. Like when you had to get off, in order for you to get off the, or uh, use the internet, you had to get off the phone. Oh, God. Ever since the government shut down, they can't give you any information without all the scrambled TV shit. You think the government's gonna be working again by the time this goes up? No. If it is, then alright, cool. <laughs> that joke is... Oh, is this a sex tape? <laughs> oh, no one wants in this game. It's gonna be weird. <laughs> Don't you mean... Super. <laughs> so so Justin knows what this game is. Okay, so like he's played it. I I really haven't. Yeah, so so this game I played it for a while that? anyway. I think I've actually played this all the way so through the, too. Actually. Yeah, this game is a. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. I like it because the character isn't some beefed up super. I'm gonna go kill every alien on the planet. He's essentially the future version of a gen. He's an engineer who works on a ship and fixes stuff. And that's exactly what you use to fight the. Um, the necromorphs, as they're referred to in this game, you use essentially tools. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But to be fair, he does stomp shit like it's a, like he's a oh, goddamn yeah. space marine. He, yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes stomp the yard in that. That's pretty much the. Uh, That's the extent of his that, superpowers. That is, no, it's it's essentially what you kind of want to go by. When in doubt, when in doubt, stomp it out. No, really, like you're, it's gonna be half this game. <laughs> yeah. It's a 30 second fight followed by 30 seconds of panic stomping. <laughs> <laughs> like he used to be a. So Nathan's played this? I played the demo. Okay. Sorry, and you probably said that I couldn't hear. Cause... Nah, not yet. I was, gonna, I was gonna mention it, but you done oh. spoiled that surprise. Damn it! Way to I go. ruined everything. Yeah. Guys, we're almost to the bottle ship. You're gonna need to boost. Yeah, it's crazy how big this franchise you. has gotten. There's, there's, like, there's like, aside from the video games, there's like books and like movies and stuff of this. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. The franchise is pretty big. I do really like the like horror. I think Fantoon's on thing. that boat. Boat. That'd be Continue, awesome. Sorry. I could, I, fuck. I cut you off. I'm sorry, man. What the fuck? Is this game gonna be our Mario Party? Oh. <laughs> What's really awesome is that, like, uh, have you guys seen the movie The Thing? Yeah, yeah, Well, this yeah. game borrows a lot from it, and the director of The Thing actually wants to make a movie adaptation of this game. John that, that'll work. I don't know much about The Thing. I do know about Head Spiders. Yeah. yeah. It's because yeah. Also, that's in another great space-based horror air quotes game. If you space Station 13. If you want to see a better... <laughs> You want to see a better '80s movie than The Thing? Go watch the stuff. <laughs> oh God, it's better than ice cream. Oh Jesus! Chest turns it. heads into just melted goo. It's so funny when you see a little kid get chased by marshmallow face down the fucking <laughs> road. It's so good. It's bad. Oh my god, Isaac's face. You get to see it like once, and then it's just, it's always here. No, I think this game has a really good, like, camera angle for, like, a horror game. Like, I think they, like, nailed it. Hmm, did I forget to turn off the eye? No, 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 get the subtitles to go into his eye. <laughs> oh no, he's got his helmet on. Nah, that's too right. He's got, he's got his, his font deflection, uh, collar. <laughs> So where'd you find all those rusted clock parts? Fucking tryhard. Mmm, <laughs> electrolytes. Delicious electrolytes. We've been fed straight into my back. <laughs> so it's like Revengeance where I can just cut off your spinal cord. I wish it was that badass, but no, that's just like... 
the health meter. So now I'm just imagining, like, Raiden stomping a dude's back in half. <laughs> and then just <laughs> ripping out the spinal cord. Okay. You're like, oh god. I, I, I like how they do, like, the, uh, like, all the menus and everything are just, like, holographic, like, yeah. Yeah, overlays. Yeah, that, that is another really awesome thing, is that you don't have to, like, pause and shit for, like, finding, yeah, that's, uh, that's actually, like, what, what your no, mission is. Oh, and what's really cool, if you get lost, bam, yeah, you, can, you go yeah. that way. Yep. Yeah, you can lay down the rail. Because, well, this game, it, it has you, like, come back to the same place multiple times, because you're on a ship. Yeah. Yeah. I just like how there was also the soothing female voice telling you to use run. Yeah. Like they've got the kind of like cool like in universe like menu system. And then just oh by the way, use run. I do like that they had to tell you to do that in a world so where he's probably worn this suit thousands of times. Yeah. <laughs> use my skill to hack the door pad. Right. Also, you think, like, you know, I, I know, like, they have that, uh, like, uh, that spinal thing is, like, your health meter, like, so the player would know it's on your back, so, like, you know, that's why that's there. But, I mean, like, for him as a character, you'd think it would be, like, on his wrist or something, so he could actually check it. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, that's I mean, just it's... so, right, like, anybody who's sneaking up behind him knows how much force they need to use to kill him. That <laughs> yeah. is, uh, in this universe, engineers are actually super expensive, but you only pay them once the job is over. It's like, oh, if they God. suffer an accident, there's no compensation. He's only got one <laughs> module of health. Get him. Yeah. Well, there's not. There's nobody. Ooh. <clears throat> I think somebody spilled all their prego. Uh, he punched out all of my blood. <laughs> That's still hilarious. I'm a frustrated black guy in a horror movie. <laughs> I'm gonna last real long. <laughs> Get like an uncomfortable close up on this black guy. Uh, that looks kind of weird proportion wise. Yep. Kind of fucking with my eyes. Save. Oh yeah, they use save stations in this game, by the way. You can't just be all like, Oh, let's save now! That's I mean, fair. It's, it's a horror game. I mean, you I have expect to that you have save points. Yeah. Because being able to save wherever you want in a horror game is like saying, Well, I don't, you don't gotta be scared anymore. <laughs> about wearing that suit's uncomfortable as balls? Because he's like constantly hunched. Yeah. Oh, and it's great when he's running too. He's like panting. <laughs> he's just so out of shape. <laughs> It's pretty great. He's just going on pure adrenaline. <laughs> hey, they got a guy with like a heart murmur. Something. Like he's got all kinds of medical problems. They're like, before you go into space, do you have any medical problems? Oh, tons. I got 17 <laughs> bajillion medical problems. Let me tell you. Do you like the uh, the lighting and dark effects in this game too? Yeah, those are pretty good. It's definitely a pretty looking game. Oh, that's not very pretty though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Yeah, the, the monsters in this game are pretty fucking grotesque. I think you're just standing there like, oh. <laughs> 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 My name's Isaac. Oh, shit. Punch him. Well, I'm gonna go. No, fist you're, fight you're... that necromorph. <laughs> right, you... well, Dude, no. hit, hit, run, use run, man. All right. Use run. Ah! I want to run, Isaac. I'm just gonna do a he nice morning run. jog. <laughs> Ow! Shut the door. Woo! Safe for the rest of the game. Yep, everything is fine forever. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm really glad they made elevators strong enough to cut people's heads off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we just look at it. Dead head rolling amongst the elevator floor. <laughs> oh man. Can you pick the head up? Hey head. Hey Isaac. What you thinking about? Head things. 
<laughs> no, later on you get um you get to yeah. use this like telekinetic ability and it's just fun like picking yeah. up the dead bodies and messing with yeah, them. Yeah, I was I was about to ask, like like I can't remember if you give like you could like do that because I remember there's like when I first played this game, like I cut off one of the like people's heads that dies. That like in a cutscene. I would just I actually carried it with me through half the game. Like I would stop during combat, put it down, oh, go back and get it. Was it like the head of your like love interest up to the point where she died or something? Because that would be great. No, it was, uh, it was that one, the other lady. I can't remember. There's some scientist that, like, just dies and you just... Okay. I just took their head and I was using it. Well, you gotta bring all the science that she learned out with you. <laughs> I learned the ultimate technique, stomping. It, it really is, actually. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I like how it's clipping through your leg and getting stuck a little bit. Is that you kidding? Well, yeah, I got a head on me. his head off. Apparently necromorphs and dead people in this game just get really squishy. Yeah, it must be. You know, none of that bone matter or cartilage, none of that stops anything. That's yeah. like that's like the thing about survival horror that I, I always like questioned like in my mind. Like that question had been like, this is stupid, just been like, this is hilarious. Like you have all these guns that are like relatively ineffective and don't have that much like ammunition, right? But your feet are like the most powerful thing in the world. Like zombies not on your foot, you can squish their head like it's jello. <laughs> <laughs> With the, if it's long as it's your foot. I mean, I can understand like some decay because, you know, it's dead tissue now, but still. You well, know. I mean, like for necromorphs, it feels like they wouldn't be that squishy, though. I mean, yeah, well, oh, I, mean, I just opened it. Okay. Like, if you're on a Vamor or whatever, and you, like, try to fight them with the stomp? Yeah. Or with punching, it takes forever to kill them, so, like... Yeah. But I'm saying, like, if you do get a stomp on, like, their head, it just destroys the head. Looks like somebody's having a bad day. It really does. Oh, that's... That's oh, how... Okay. That's how engineers do it. Oh! Get off of me! <laughs> <laughs> Fights like a drunken. <laughs> yeah, ah, you, you do it. You're like, my you're like bugging out the door right now. <laughs> like, yeah. really hard. No, fine. You gotta be like that. Shoot him in the dick. Oh, by the way, that's how you kill these creatures is by shooting their limbs as opposed to heads, because yeah. they're like, we're sick of them killing all everything with headshots. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, I love how that was their reason. I mean, it's kind of cool. Yeah. They're just like, oh, headshots, whatever. And it's actually kind of cool in the sequels, because if you shoot him in the head in the sequels, like, there's a chance that it gets worse. And <laughs> it, like, grows something else. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Nice health regen there, console tard. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, this doesn't- I, I don't automatically get my health back? What the fuck, man? I like how that uh, necromorph happened to be playing the trombone. <laughs> <laughs> Just ran by- You <laughs> run! <laughs> you have to keep it. <laughs> okay, if that happens in a horror game, <laughs> I will be the happiest knife man, man on earth. <laughs> if the monster comes by and the dramatic sting is being played by the monster. <laughs> even, even worse, he's playing it with a human skull. <laughs> like, how are you doing this? Like, it's still kind of scary, but it's also really stupid. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? Thank God I got my screen app. Yeah. Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Want dad aboard. Dad aboard. I can't reach it. You can't reach it. <laughs> You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. And what's wrong with the tram? I'm a black guy that isn't voiced by Phil Lamar. Give me a chance. That is pretty weird that he's not <laughs> Phil Lamar. He is the we only black person who can voice act. I'm not saying that, like, you know, I'm yeah, saying it's just to make fun of them, not not like me, I'm, I'm racist. I'm, I'm, I'm not racist. <laughs> it's alright, we get it. No, no, I don't think you get it yet. <laughs> I still feel bad now. <laughs> That's right, feel that white guilt. <laughs> yeah, I'm <s> <laughs>
tram damage. Please repair and try again later. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's broken. They don't tell you, like, it will be fixed soon. Like, thank you for waiting. It says, you fix it. Fix it! Like, it should have just been fix Fry it, just fix sitting it, there. Fix yeah. It. <laughs> just like, fix it. Like, like, there's a picture of Fry from Futurama just screaming to fix it at fucking Lilo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh no, the ship's engines aren't working anymore. <laughs> fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it! <laughs> Fix it, fix it! <laughs> that's, that's essentially this game in a nutshell, is that Isaac stands there where they're like, Fix it, fix it, fix it, aliens! Shoot him! Fix it, fix it! <laughs> <laughs> just, just stop that thing. Fuck suitcases. Suitcases? More like... He's more of an attache, attache case kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> a toolbox? Let's see if I stomp this toolbox. Oh, no, that's I his toolbox! That's his toolbox! <laughs> What were you thinking? My Just tools! Because somebody left it sitting out doesn't mean nobody's gonna miss it. Yeah, get owned. Yay. You gotta stop their guts so that, you know, that stuff comes out of their stomach and you can spend it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like any good uh, RPG. Playing and saving. I like to believe that, like, uh... We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Good job, Smith. Get him and shoot him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut him apart. But like, uh, do they ever explain why slicing him up works? Uh, I, not. I'm not I, sure. I think, um, I think it's because they have like some kind of like regenerative like thing. Mm. So like, the smaller oh, pieces they're in, so. it's like harder for them to like. Put themselves back together, I suppose. Oh, God! That's Smith. <laughs> Smith! What are you doing here? Smith, you're such a cute you rascal. Smith, you don't have any actual limbs. Here, let me help you with that. The old office cut up Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that Smith is such a kidder. I almost said it wrong. You have a voice thing for that? Yeah, it's Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, how do I kill Necromorphs? Sounds like it's pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is there just, like, an enormous, like, butt powering this place? Because there's a lot of part deaths. It's a spaceship. It's a spaceship. We gotta stay away from the, uh, you know... Vents. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen a look back at me when I said that. <laughs> he was like, and <laughs> more plagiarism. Why not? <laughs> oh shit, was that from them? Yeah, it was. Oh. Fuck. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. I actually don't remember <laughs> saying exactly <laughs> that. They say it. I say just fart gas. I wasn't saying. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh. Somebody call a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to inspect your pipes. You move your leg a little, because I'm a little bit tangled. Me too. Me too. Is that good? Yeah. Right. Come on. Oh, that's right, I gotta use stasis to slow it down. Yeah, because we're having trouble with these uh, these monsters, but we can fucking slow time. Yeah. I don't know how you even are having trouble with anything when you can slow time. Well, you gotta, <laughs> it's only a limited amount, so, you yeah. know. Even a limited amount of being able to manipulate time is still a lot of... a huge advantage. Just going directly to that. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of balls. I gotta guess. I gotta. Claw has been engaged. Did they like pre-rust everything on his body? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> like it feels like they gave him the shittiest armor. Like they did, didn't they? Probably. <laughs> it's like we gotta make it look as you know, 
<laughs> dreadful and decrepit as possible. You know what? You know what would be really great. You know, in like these space horrors, like uh, like situations, is you know you see all those corpses and okay, we get it. You can play the fucking tuba. So anyway, <laughs> uh, like I was saying, like it'd be great in like one of these like. Is that horror situation where you see all those like like bodies just laying around in the corner? There's just a raw turkey. <laughs> Getting a drunk fight. Like just with one of these just a raw <laughs> turkey. Yeah, fuck me. Like man. a raw turkey like with nothing. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It's not mutated or anything. Just just a raw turkey. Just, just a turkey. Just and turkey. you're just looking among all the guts. And you're like, oh, this is a raw turkey. This is clearly <laughs> somebody a raw fucking turkey. with me. <laughs> it's a turducken that moves. That would actually be horrifying. <laughs> Everybody go watch Poltergeist. Turducken is already an abomination. Yeah. I mean, we are shoving one animal into another animal into another animal and calling it food. You may just be... I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes my brain gets away from me. Oh, I know it. Yeah, I remember this. You gotta launch it and then stasis it when it flashes on, right? And then hit the button. Oh my god. That's what you gotta, yeah. Yeah, hit the button, stasis it, and then get up there before it connects. And then fill up throws. your back with sweet, sweet Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's exactly it. Say it like it's not Kool-Aid. It it's not, it's not there yet, though. I don't think it's gonna... Or maybe it does. Yep. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Usually I wait till it's actually attached and hit it. There we go. Alright, well, that works too. Oh, this, what? And then all the necromorphs are like, he's repairing the tram car! Stop Get him. him! Isaac, you did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online... You're just trying to, like, get it out of your face. Get <laughs> out of my face, <laughs> damn you! Haven't you heard of personal <laughs> space? It'd be great if he, like, hits, like, an, like, an X key, like, like, like little, like, X out, <laughs> out of the window, and then, like, opens, and then pulls up another window, it's just, like, hardcore, like, barnyard porn. <laughs> And then you realize Isaac is calling. Oh, shit! <laughs> no, I couldn't tell if that was, like, an uh, instrument being played or the door opening. <laughs> you know necromorphs are masters of fucking brass instruments. <laughs> when, you've well, got, when you've got multiple throats, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I, w I played wind instruments. I actually played brass! <laughs> hey, when you got a lot of lung capacity, he should play brass. And by lung capacity, I mean being a nightmare horror from my nightmares. Well, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. That's what I mean when I say lung capacity. <laughs> I'm trying to prime the audience for when they ever go swimming, they just think of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird way to advertise, but it's how I advertise. Some of these doors just won't fucking quit. Oh, it's the same door. Did you think, like, these boxes look kind of like Xboxes? Just original Xboxes yeah, like, that you stop <laughs> apart to get ammo? No, like, when I first played this, I was like, all I fucking thought about is that these look like fucking original Xboxes. Oh, fuck that noise. Microsoft is responsible. This is really fun. For... Hold on. And you hide behind here and you let him come to you and the door slams on. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you can do that. It's really stupid. I mean, it's not stupid because I mean, they're exploiting like a part of the environment. That's a smart thing to do, but it's just funny that they don't understand that something moving really fast and is really heavy will hurt you. But it won't. <laughs> but, it, but it won't. I'm trying to get its attention to see if it can go over here, but he was roaring at you. You yeah. have to go back that direction to like. In that room. Well, not just run past them. This one you do. I didn't even know if you can make it. Uh, nope. No. <laughs> you, oh, you just used up all your stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh. Wait. Does it recharge? Was he there? You... I thought I saw him there. Do you still have a little bit? Because it's red. Can you still use it? Uh, see if I can get his attention by shooting shit. You're like wasting ammo, dude. <laughs> you, you might want to just. Yep, they're here. No, no, dude, dude, <laughs> no. You might want to just not be in the room. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Why are you like determined to fucking crush through this stupid door? 
Just oh, fucking fuck. leave the room. <laughs> right. Text them out of here. Just <laughs> fucking leave. Run. <laughs> when someone waves at you with knives for hands, just <laughs> leave the room. Oh, wow. This door just wants to take its goddamn time. That is actually really fun. <laughs> that door takes forever. <laughs> yeah, oh. The other one's just too through. fast. Too furious. Starring Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's how you reload it. Okay. I watched Triple X recently. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I, I remember when I was younger and watched it, I thought, This is cool. <laughs> Welcome to Watch the Thunder Zone. <laughs> no, my favorite part of that movie is where, like, Vin Diesel just stands there, like, at the, from, in the back of, like, a fucking, like, uh, this huge, like, drop ship airplane, before he, like, parachutes out yeah. of it, and he just yells, I live for this shit! <laughs> and just gets sucked out of the airplane, going, <laughs> Yahoo! And I was like, wow, Vin Diesel, you did it. It's like you I finally got... found your breakaway role that was way better than Pitch Black. I love, I, I love the, uh, I love the line he says near the end of the movie where he has, like, this very powerful and very dangerous rocket launcher, and he's like, dude, quit thinking protocols, start thinking PlayStation. I'm like, please, for the love of God. Oh my God, he protocol. said that. I said Stick that protocol. Movie. Do not, do not think this is a video game. No. That thing could kill you. No, my favorite part ever is when he, like, that guy is smoking. Yeah. And he, like, has, like, a heat-seeking missile. Right. And he shoots it at him, <laughs> and then he says, I told you smoking would kill him. And I was just like, I knew this was gonna happen in this movie because, like, five oh. scenes earlier, he told him smoking will kill you, and it did. Oh, the goddamn irony! And you know what's even? Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! I should listen to my own advice <laughs> about irony and, and monsters. Yeah, this is this is one of those games where you just run past most of them. I'm pretty sure I have to go that way. I mean, I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, d you don't kill them if you feel like you should kill them. I'm saying, like, I know I got through most of this game just not fighting anything. <laughs> that was me, not, not a Necromorph. I'm just eating a lot of ramen. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great if that's what caused, you know, all this to happen, which is bad ramen. <laughs> so we got a shipment of bad ramen! It's like, how bad? And then he's like, bad. you just see like a computer image of some guy like, ah, oh, cup of noodles. Then like this fucking knife hand goes through his fucking skull. <laughs> see, that's what you gotta do. You gotta shoot him in the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> They've got a really big gooch, dude. <laughs> like it's like I can see everything, we forever. Got, see, that's that's what they were originally gonna go with. Like you had to you had to kill them by shooting them in the crotch, and we called them the tainted. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's like, I don't get paid near enough for this shit. I don't think he gets paid at all. I'm a janitor. <laughs> I like the oh! idea that janitors in the off. future will, uh... I just... No, just leave. Just fuck him. You know how, like, most of these, like, before they get all, like, murder-happy and start running at you, they kind of run... They kind of walk towards you like they're drunk, like, sorority chicks. Like, they're the bathroom is kind of drunk. I'm Pretty. <laughs> they're just kind of like, oh, they got their uh, hands up and uh, shit. I'm like fuck just... somebody back. It's like, wait a minute, that bitch just called me ugly, and then they murder run at you with swords for hands. <laughs> <laughs> like every sorority chick I knew. <laughs> I don't think I actually know any sorority chicks. No, I don't either. That was, that was bullshit. Oh, I'm talking about Isaac. He probably knew all the space sorority chicks. Can you see was cleaning their bathroom? When he was going to space janitor college. That's how he paid space. <laughs> Actually, there probably would have to be a space janitor college. Space custodian, yeah, probably. Yeah. Like, because... well, it's just—it's essentially ship engineering. <laughs> oh man, bro! Woke me up from my my power nap. Want to play some hack? Like it's it's not it's not hard to know how to push buttons. It's just hard to know which buttons to push. See, like right. I'm like no good to like watch play horror games because whenever something jumps up to scare me, like. About 10% of the time, I'll actually be scared. The rest of it, I'll just be going, ah, ha, ha. Even if it's actually a good scare, I'll be like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> like, 
Like Kinda a like fucking that, asshole. Like that terrible haunted hayride we went to. Okay. <laughs> Valley Fair where we stood in line for like three hours All right. and almost died of smoke inhalation. Alright, so, okay, so. <laughs> Not even joking. Alright, so here's. Okay, we need to explain that a little bit. So, oh, alright, so we went on like this haunted hayride things we had like tickets for. I think, did your mom or somebody get Yeah, it? somebody like, my mom knew like, that. Like, ones. and we just got to go to it and we were like, yeah, this could be fun. Let's go do that. And like, we get there and there's this line that just goes on for an eternity. And during, like, interspersed, like, in places in the line, there's just these places constantly cooking hamburgers. And cooking them incorrectly, mind you, because there was always burning grease. <laughs> and the smoke was just, like, destroying my fucking sinuses. So when we finally get on the goddamn ride, like, three hours later, like... Like, there were several times I thought the line was over, but it was just led to trees. Oh. So then, like, when we finally get on the sneaking haunted hayride, we're, like, being drug around at a pretty, like, moderate pace through the woods while people in every Halloween costume you've ever seen ever <laughs> are jumping out of the fucking bushes to scare us going, Boo! Ah, I've got a cleaver and I'm a clown! Oh no! I'm so scary! <laughs> and I'm like, that's... Not even terrifying. So me and Justin just sat like like the fucking those Muppets, those like oh, old guy Muppets, Jesus. and just started like heckling them <laughs> the whole time. It and it was great because one lady in a nurse costume started running at us with this huge fucking like axe, I think, and we were just like, because like look at her, guess she didn't make it through med school. Oh, oh. And it was what it was like, and she actually stopped, threw her arms up, and walked away. Yeah, she was <laughs> like, done. It was <laughs> like, great. <laughs> I had enough of this shit. The scariest <laughs> part of that was the bus ride back. Oh my god, that dude like, was a madman. There was a bus ride driver that drives you back to like the station where like, you can get back takes, in your car. Yeah, it takes like a two mile dirt road to get and there. He, and he like drives down this dirt road like it's two miles. It would normally take like, I don't know, like a minute. It took him like 20 seconds because he was going like... <laughs> 60? Max, yeah. He went from like zero to 60 on a dirt road in pitch blackness in the woods. And we were just, like, <laughs> bouncing around like crazy, and we over-exaggerated and just kept, like, quoting fucking uh, uh, Ace Ventura the whole time, just going, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Chitty! <laughs> See, the scariest part is if, like, the bus driver turned around, pulled off his mask, revealed to be Vin Diesel, and said, Welcome to the Xander Zone! <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a scary twist, but no. that It was just some old dude who just wanted to live. I can't wait for the cage match with John Cena versus Vin Diesel. Oh my god. In a match to see who's the hardest bald, bald dude ever. Wait, John C is not bald. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> He's the human equivalent of a Ted Second car. <laughs> oh my god. Too fast, too fucking furious. Too flurious? The DQ, right, you can too fast, shit. too flurious. You can upgrade your rig, which is what your outfit is. Uh -huh. It's my rig. I wear it. I feel yeah. Like no, that makes sense. This guy just calls it that to like kind of boost his morale. This is my rig. That's an that's that's a that's a really shitty rig. That's a sp that that's actually a just looks like a diving suit that you strap some metal to. <laughs> actually, it, that's exactly what it looks like. It's the sci-fi equivalent of a speed suit. <laughs> like I'm wearing. Oh my god! I love you. I think you're my biggest fan. You're his biggest fan. What? <laughs> One of these days, there's gonna be a sports team called the Mechanics. I play on that team. That sounds amazing. Let's just listen to the meaty sounds of body parts rolling. Do you think that they had to foley? Did that arm try to jump back on him? <laughs> anyway, do you think they had to like sit in a room and just foley the sounds of meat getting beaten with like clubs and shit? Oh yeah, I'm sure they did that. Like with a lot of video games where it has that kind of like bloody chunky noise, especially with like horror games and World War II games, they'll just like shoot guns into meat and watermelons and record Oh, my, the my favorite thing when I found out like about the like, when I was learning more about like, foley the artists, is that like, they have like every pair of shoes you could imagine, like the really good ones. Yeah. Like the good Foley artists. And they have to walk around in high heels and like fucking sand and shit. So like the sounds of like women walking around through like like gravel and stuff. Yeah. Is actually some dude in high heels walking through gravel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, come on, Joey, you wanna get paid? Put them fucking heels on. I don't wanna. It's like the lotion on its skin. It's for it's for the new GTA game. I don't care, man. We need the sound. Of someone putting a bat to a woman's head for this game. <laughs> Alright, I got it. They go back to their foliage studios like, Alright, Ted, I want you to stand still. Why do you need me to stand still? Are you going to do what you did last time? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And at that point, he was dead. That's when Jim decided, I'm going to put on women's high heels and walk around for noises for a living. That's what I'm going to do. It's actually a super fun job. <laughs> like, I wish I could be a Foley artist so bad. Oh, is that what the Foley artists do? Or they, yeah, they... Foley artists, like, the, they'll, uh, they, like, make... They make the sounds. Oh, that's so cool. Like, they'll have, like, real fucking... Like, they'll have stupid, like, little kid sword fights in their in a room and record the sounds of the metal clanging. See, I never knew that, because I'd, like, watch movies and it'd be, like, Foley artist, and the first thing I think of is Mankind. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Foley artist. So Matt Foley was a part of this movie. You didn't see him, but he was in the boiler room <laughs> getting ready to jump on you. All I see is, like, Mr. Sacco giving directions, like, You want to be in pictures? I'll go in your throat if you don't listen. God, I loved Matt Foley so much. He actually has an autobiography. Really? And there's a documentary about him on Netflix. Cool. Yeah, all that shit he did, real. Yeah. All those hospitals. Oh, movies, yeah, he, he did! Yeah, yeah, that was. For. I like the whole thing with him. Like, he actually, like, hurt himself. Mm hmm. Like, he was, like, the least. He was, like, the most meaty, like, chubby guy ever. He, he brought about, like, the first hardcore matches where, like, weapons were not only, like, you were able to use them, but were, like, in forests where you'd have to, like, beat each other with bats covered in barbed wire and shit. Yeah. I'm glad to see he went somewhere good with his education. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>